Hey you guys, so I got a request for problem 59 and in this one, this problem is about source transformations and so we have a 2 milliamp independent current source in parallel with a 2.7 kilo ohm resistor and this is 2.3, this is 1k and this is 0.6 milliamps and we want to find this current here using source transformations for part A and then uh, for part B, we want to use the node voltage method to confirm um, that that is the correct answer. So for part A, what you want to do is you need to know what is a source transformation. A source transformation is basically um, a redrawing the circuit with its equivalent. So we use Ohm's law, V is equal to I R just says that when you have something, a current in parallel with a resistor, that is the same thing as using the voltage is equal to a current times resistance. That's equivalent to a voltage source in series with a resistor. And of course, it goes this way too. If you want to go back in that direction, obviously, you would use V is equal to I over R. And or, yeah, or I is equal to V over R, excuse me, to convert it back into a current source. So we're going to use that in order to um, transform this into, um, well, I did it to transform it into a single current source. And then once I did all my source transformations, there's two source transformations to do. And once you do that, you can combine everything into one current and one resistor. And, to, and that will give you the current. And then um, using node voltage, pretty straightforward. There's two nodes. And um, you use KCL, the two nodes, and solve it, either using matrices or a simultaneous equation method. And that's it. So go ahead and pause the video, try those things, and then restart it when you're ready to check your answer or if you get stuck. OK, so for part A, source transformation. So there's two to do. There's this one and there's this one. So we have two milliamp in parallel with 2.7k. So V is equal to I plus R. So that's going to be the voltage source is going to be two milliamps times 2.7k. The millis and the kilos cancel each other out. So we go um, 2 times 2.7. That's going to give me 5.4. So I can replace this with 5.4 voltage source in series with a 2.7. So my arrow, my current went this way, so the head of the voltage source, the head of the, um, think of it this way, when the, volt, the current is going up, you're increasing in potential. And that's why the polarity of your voltage source is also in an increasing way, or in an increasing direction. So if I was decreasing in potential, then I would flip that to go from minus to positive. So that, or excuse me, yeah, you just follow the head of the arrow because that's from negative to positive is where you're increasing in potential. Oh, I'm having a hard time speaking this morning. I'm so tired. Okay, over here, we have this one to transform, and that's 1K in parallel with a 0.6 milliamp. The kilos and the uh, millis uh, cancel each other out, so it's just 1 times 0 0.6, and that's something you can do in your head, that's 0 0.6 volts. So our potential is increasing in this direction, so we're going to go minus to plus. Voltages in series add, and so do resistors. So 
5.4 plus 0.6, right? So here we have increasing potential over here, increasing potential, so they add, right? If it was, say, plus minus, you're going to go in this direction, down the line, downstream from it. You're going to see an increase in potential here, going from minus to plus. And then when you get here, it goes from plus to minus, which means we have decreased in potential. So then that would be a minus 0.6. However, since we start here, we have an increase. We travel here, we have a decrease, or an increase, a minus plus again. Then that's how you know that you add the voltages together. And that gives me 0 point, or 6.0. Um, 2.7 plus 2.3 is 6, plus 1 is, or is 5, and plus 1 is 6. So then, that's all the same thing as 6K, and they wanted us to find I'm not right. Well, you see the direction of the current, the way it goes through. It's going down in, it's going through the voltage source in a, from positive to negative. So it's going to be the way that we, when we do um, Ohm's law, is we usually take the current this way. So when we solve it like that, we have positive current. But since the current I sub naught is defined to be in the reverse direction, it's going to be the negative of V over R. So that is just math you can do in your head. Six volts over six kilos is one milliamp. Or since we're going in this direction, it would be negative one milliamp. So for part A, the answer is negative one milliamp. And part B should be the same. Now we're going to solve the same circuit using no voltage. I'm actually winging this section, but hopefully I'll get it right. Two milliamps. Two point seven. Two point three. One K Okay, so we're gonna call this V one and V two and take this as our ground. Um, the node voltage method is pretty straightforward here. So a node voltage equation at V one is current going into that node is going to be a negative sign, so minus 2 milliamps plus V1 over 2.7K plus V1 minus V2 over 2.3K. That's three branch currents, and they sum to zero. So let's group everything together. So my V1s, I have 1 over 2.7 plus 1 over 2.3 plus for V2, I have negative 1 over 2.3K. And then I bring the negative 2 milliamps over on the other side to put 2 milliamps over here. Now we do the same thing for V2. So node voltage at V2 is V2 minus V1 over 2.3K plus V2 over 1K plus 0.6 millis equals 0. So for my second nodal equation, for V1s I have negative 1 over 2.3K for V2. I have 1 over 2.3K plus 1 over 1K. And then bring the other one on the other side, negative 0.6 milliamps. 
And then use your simultaneous equation solver to solve that. So I have two equations and two unknowns. So one divided by 2.7e3 plus one divided by 2.3e3, negative one divided by 2.3e3 is equal to 2e minus three. Then negative 1 divided by 2.3e3, 1 divided by 1 divided by 2.3e3 plus oopsies. One divided by 2.3e3 plus 1 divided by 1e3. Negative 0.6e minus 3, f5. Okay, I have some kind of error. Let's try it again. One, okay, so check my equations. Minus 2, 2.3, 1k, plus 0.6. That goes there. Okay, so I think I have something... Okay, let's try again. 1 divided by 2.7. Okay. Okay, so 1 divided by 2,700 plus 1 divided by 2,300. Enter. Negative. 1 divided by 2,700 plus 1 divided by 2,300. Negative 1 divided by 2300.002. Negative 1 divided by 2300. 1 divided by 2300 plus 1 divided by 1000 minus 0 0.0006. That's 0.6 millis. F5. Oh, well, nuts. Well, let's see what's wrong. I did something wrong, and uh, let's try my nodal equation again. That's what I get for winging it. 0 0.2, 2.7, 2.3, 1k, 0.6. Well, you guys, this happens in real life. Not sure where my equation went wrong, but... Somewhere I did, so let's rewrite my equation. So, no voltage at V1 is minus 2 millis plus V1 over 2.7 plus V1 minus V2 over 2.3 equals 0. Okay, I agree with that. V1, 1 over 2.7 plus 1 over 2.3 plus V2, negative 1 over 2.3, bring this over to the other side, equals 2 millis. What's my mistake so far? Alright, at V2, we have V2 minus V1 over 2.3, plus V2 over 1k, plus 0.6 equals zero. So then V1 is negative one over 2.3 plus V2, one over 2.3 plus one over one K, that should be equal to negative 0 0.6 milliamps. And these are exactly the same thing that I got, so it has to work out. Try again. It's got to be a typo somewhere in my matrix. Okay, so 1 divided by 2700 plus 1 divided by 2300 
Enter negative 1 divided by negative 1 divided by 2300, point zero zero 0.002. That's 2 milliamps. Negative 1 divided by 2300, we'll enter. 1 divided by 2300 plus 1 divided by 1000, negative point negative point zero 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 six. All right, F five. Oh, okay, guys. I am totally decaffeinated. I'm not a morning person. Duh. All right. So the numbers are correct. <laughs> Let's see. Two point seven. Zero point four. I'm just being really tired, you guys. So those are the numbers I've gotten for some reason. I'm so I was thinking, why is it telling me I was expecting negative one milliamp? So being totally decaffeinated and sleepy. So I naught then is 0 0.4 minus 2.7, right? Because the arrow is going this direction over 2.3. And you don't really need a calculator for this because you can see 0.4 minus 2.7 is going to be negative 2.3 over uh, 2.3. And remember, these are kilos, kilo ohms, right? So that will give you, well, let's just do it. Well, this is volts. Sorry. This is volts over kilo ohms. So you get 2.3 volts over 2.3 kilo, uh, kilo ohms. And that's going to give you negative one milliamps. Oh man, as verified by the no voltage method. I'm going to try to wake up now.